Hey guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So today I've got a try it video for you guys. Um, a while back I placed an order through YesStyle and I never got around opening it um, and going through it. So I thought I would sit down now while I'll have the time and share it with you as well. Um, my cousin was, she asked me a while back um, how I went with YesStyle because I bought a few stuff there previously, um, how it is. So I actually ended up looking around on there as well and came across um, this, which is the the carbonated bubble mask clay mask so I've seen a lot of these on Instagram and they look really fun um, to do as well so I thought I would try it because it was quite affordable um, this was I believe 1377 when I purchased it on YesStyle so I thought I would give it a go so I haven't opened this yet I haven't tried it out so I'm just gonna jump right into it and take you along with me Okay, so I've just cleaned my face because I did a little gardening this morning. Um, I'm using the Clinique Pore Deep Clearing Foam to cleanse it. Um, just to get rid of the dirt that was on my face. And I also rinsed it off with warm water just to kind of open up the pores a bit. Um, so here we go with the mask. So this is um, the Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy, Piggy um, Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. Ooh, it looks really glucky. It kind of reminds me of like goo like you know when you're a kid and i don't know why it was a fun thing but used to play with like this gooey stuff it kind of looks a bit like that it feels a bit glucky as well like glue i don't know if you can see i'm not wearing glasses so i don't know whether this is in focus or not but yeah it feels really um plasticky so let me i should read the instructions first take proper amount of carbonated bubble clay mask to your whole face except around the eyes after three to five minutes, when the bubbles blown up absolutely, do foam massage with a little tepid water and wash away. So I was actually thinking you had to put this on for like 15 minutes, but it's only three to five minutes. So um, yeah, let's give this a go. It says put put a proper amount. What is a proper amount? I'm guessing it's so it's like fully covering your face. So I'm not sure whether you're supposed to use this, but I'll give it a go. Mm, it feels really nice and cooling already. I'm not sure what the amount is, so I'm just going to lather this on my face. Ta-da! Okay, so the spatula is a good idea. However, I felt like I was going at a slower pace to apply because you really kind of have to put it on quite quickly because it actually starts foaming like really quickly. So um, at the end, I just kind of went through and quickly did it um, around a few areas and it already started foaming. So I'm going to leave it on for three minutes and time, well actually five minutes and time this. So far, it's quite cooling. Um, I don't feel any tingle or anything yet. Um, I did have a few um, scars, like pimple scars, and actually it's not really pimple, it's more like blemishes and like ingrown hair that I try to keep plucking because I get itchy fingers and want to get rid of it. So I had a lot of scars on my face. I think I feel an, in like a internal pimple growing inside my nose, so my nose is a bit sore, but so far I don't feel any tingling. Okay, so I'll say it's been like two minutes now and it's definitely starting to foam. Um, I was just reading the box because it's a little bit that's written in English and it says that this particular brand, um, Eliza Vecca, manufactures reliable goods with carefully selected raw minerals. So this carbonated mask, it makes your skin moist and smooth with bananical, bananical moisture ingredients. So I'm hoping, oh no, I got a bit of a runaway. <laughs> it's like going up my nose. Oh, I don't know if you can see, like, it's like bowling away. This is so cool. I'm going to have to take a snap of this. Trailing out the bubble mask. Stay tuned for Tuesday. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see. It's like little bubbles. Like I can hear little crackles of the bubble foaming, but I don't really feel... Um, much of a tingle or anything it just there's like a slightly a little tingle but it's really not much but it is pretty cool like just looking at it I did have like some like foam coming in like coming off around my nose but it holds pretty well I guess 
By the way, how cute are my little ears? These are also from Yesdal as well because I needed something just to kind of keep my hair back and I thought these were super cute. Okay, so it has been five minutes. Um, it's definitely very, it's definitely bubbly. I wouldn't say it's completely bubbly. I expected a little bit more that it would kind of go poof and like, you know, it'd be really big. But yeah, I guess this is the final or maybe I should leave it a little bit longer. Okay, so I have left it in for probably another two to three minutes and it looks like it's still foaming. I don't know what happened there. I must have blew some away. Like, it's a bit light, but it's still foaming. I don't know how long this um, stops. So I'm probably going to try to keep going. It looks like it's starting to um, foam in my mouth a bit. But that's pretty cool. I was also reading up as well. So this is apparently um, clears excess sebum and traps dirt from pores to improve skin clarity. Thousands of tiny bubbles dive deep into the pores and for a thorough clean. It tightens and tones, drying out blemishes and prevent future ones from taking root. Okay, I can't talk anymore because I feel like the foam is like starting to um, fall down or take like go over my mouth. So it's probably been about 15 minutes now and I think this is absolute. There's still a bit of bubbling going on so I don't know how much bigger it will get. But I look like a donkey. <laughs> I think I'm going to take it out now because every time I kind of blow the bubbles out of my way it kind of flicks everywhere so it's kind of getting messy. Now it does say here to do foam massage with a little tepid water and wash away. I'm just going to use wet wipes um, to do it. So, ooh, let's see how this goes. So, I don't know if you can see or oh, this is focusing. Ooh, it feels so soft and cloudy. I'll start here because it looks like... So... When you massage it, foam it, it kind of goes back to like a thick clay kind of feel to it. I think I did put like a lot on it, so it feels so funny. Like, can you hear that? It's like bubbly. Oh. I think I put a bit too much. Alright, so I definitely recommend to do this over the sink because it does get quite messy. Okay, I'm going to have to go over and rinse it um, under a sink because this is, I've got foam and like mask shit like everywhere. So I just wash it off with a lot of warm water. It did say tepid water, but um, I found it that it was quite thick and really hard to remove with water. So I did wash it off with slightly warmer and I had to use cotton pads and a face towel as well um, just to get off the excess clay because it was kind of getting stuck. Like it wasn't stuck, but it was just found it really hard. I don't know whether because I put too much on or... I don't know but it does I have to say now that my face is dry my did I did get a little bit of stinging in the eye um, as I washed my face I kind of got it in my eye it was kind of like having soap in your eye like it wasn't the greatest but it's not too bad like I'm not irritated or anything about it but just thought I'll point that out too um, but yeah now that my face is dry it does definitely feel soft um, I don't know whether it's the, if it's the collagen or something, but it does feel very firm. Um, I didn't really get a lot of um, like red marks on my face. Um, my cheeks I usually do slightly, but I thought it was pretty good. Like, it's actually not too bad. Wow, now I can't stop touching my face. So like I said, I bought this from YesStyle. Um, I paid about $13.77 Australian dollars for it. Um, I know YesStyle, the price varies because I have a lot of sales or a lot of like small discounts here and there. You can get it from other places as well from what I've seen online. Um, overall, do I think it's worth it? I think it's not a bad price. Like under $15 for a face mask and it does feel like it's doing something. It's also the novelty of it is really fun as well. So if you have like, you know, friend girlfriends over, or boyfriends and you know you just want to watch TV and like do something fun this is pretty good I think in my opinion and um, my face I can't honestly I can't stop feel like touching my face um it does feel quite firm and it feels like it's doing something it's like 
yeah, it's really smooth actually. So I quite like it. Um, I like it that you know it is using minerals, like a lot of minerals as well, um, which is really good. So I hope you like this video, kind of like a try it candid style video. Um, let me know if you've tried this and what your thoughts are, and if you have any recommendations on other ones to try. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye.